Electric power stations are now the foundation of a modern energy system. They can be nuclear, thermal, hydraulic, solar, wind or other, depending on the primary energy source, as man invented different ways to generate power. The next component is the network of air or cable lines that transmit hundreds of thousands of volts of electric power for long and extra long distances to end users. Large federal and civic centers, just as smaller residential areas, receive electric power of thousands of volts, while most of the industrial machines are designed for 380 volt current and household appliances run on 220 volt current. So that our industry, city infrastructure, all the end users could use electric power of necessary voltage and the quantity, there is a widespread power grid in place. The structure of a distribution network consists of a great number of components, such as distribution and transformer substations, switch gear and control gear, automatic circuit breakers, emergency power system and other elements required for stability of supply and safety. As we know, electricity appeared 180 years ago. Within this period of time, a whole industry developed out of a minor invention. Altogether, production, transmission and distribution of electricity became what we call electric power industry. Thus, power industry includes generation, transmission and distribution of electrical energy. These functions are inherent in any modern grid system.